I'm Bob McManon. I'm a senior plant operator here at the Elledge Wastewater Treatment Plant, and I'd like to show you around, so come on, let's go look. Wastewater carries away waste generated by washing our bodies, our hair, washing our dishes, washing our clothes. All that goes down the drains. Here in Forsyth County, all of that wastewater goes to one of two different treatment plants, either here at the Elledge plant or the Muddy Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant. Those two plants are able to treat 51 million gallons of water a day. So how much is 51 million gallons a day? Well, think about it. A tank the size of a football field, 160 foot wide, 300 foot long, would have to be 15 stories deep to hold 51 million gallons. That is how much wastewater we treat at the two treatment plants every day. Now that wastewater comes from the households. Each individual will generate about 125 gallons of wastewater each day. All of that comes to the plant via our 1,800 miles of wastewater lines and interceptors. The first process water goes through at the treatment plant is called a bar screen. The bar screen actually has a set of bars erected in the flow. The bars trap solids. The solids that those bars collect will be rags, sticks, stones, nuts, bolts, rocks, anything that comes into the flow into the plant that's larger than a quarter inch. Needless to say, this 12 million gallon a day pump or that 25 million gallon a day pump can be very expensive to repair if it is damaged by grit. The flow leaving the grit basins and influent pumps will wax and wane during the day depending on whether people are sleeping or if people are awake. The high flows leaving the pumps will come to this tank called a day tank. The next process is the primary clarifiers. In the primary clarifiers, the flow comes to the center of the tank. You'll notice the turbulent flow here coming in the center of the tank. That flow makes its way to a baffle. The baffle stills the flow. So on the inside of the baffle ring, it's turbulent. On the outside, it's very pond-like. So you can see some greases and oils and soaps laying on the water. That is pushed to a collector trough by the skimmer arm that's making revolutions on the top of the tank. The primary clarifier process is about a two hour process. At the end of two hours, you have this flow leaving it. The water leaving the primary clarifiers that contains dissolved and suspended solids comes to the activated sludge basin for treatment. Here in the activated sludge basin, we use the dissolved and suspended solids as a food source for bacteria. We culture and grow bacteria here in the sludge basin. The bacteria have to have oxygen to live. This is a sample. We're gonna take a look at our clean water. You'll say there's no way that's clean water. But what you're actually looking at is clean water and living bacteria. So these bacteria will take out somewhere in the ballpark of seven tons of dissolved and suspended solids every day. The flow's held in the clarifiers for about two hours. And during that time, the bacteria that grows in the activated sludge basin will settle out. We'll pump off of the bottom of the clarifier and send the bacteria right straight back to the activated sludge basin to do some more work. The clear water leaving the final clarifiers comes to the chlorine contact chamber and in the chlorine contact chamber we mix chlorine with the water for the purpose of disinfecting the water. So the water comes in the far end of the tank there and it makes a zigzag motion as it makes its way through the tank. The purpose of the zigzag is to be sure that the chlorine and the water stay in contact with each other. At the end of the process, we inject air to enrich the oxygen in the water. The air flows with the water to the creek so that the wildlife in the creek won't be oxygen deprived. At the end of our chlorine contact chamber, we inject 
sodium bisulfite, which mixes with the chlorine, dissipates the chlorine, and we have a clear water product going to the creek that is chlorine free. If you look to the right, which is downstream, you'll notice it's nowhere near as silty. That's because our clean water going into Salem Creek is actually improving water quality in the creek. So what happens to all of those solids that go to the digesters? Well, the digesters break those solids down. Those solids are very similar to fertilizer when they're broke down. It goes from there to a pelletizing facility, and that pelletizing facility dries those solids, makes the pellets very similar to fertilizer. So what we do in the wastewater industry is we take used water and unwanted waste and make a beneficial soil enrichment product and clean water.